In this video, we are going to discuss about projection of points. Point represents a location in space. Projection of points is the basis for projection of lines, projection of planes and projection of solids. There are two principal planes. A vertical plane, which is represented as VP. And a horizontal plane, which is represented as HP. When these planes intersect each other. Four quadrants are formed. First quadrant. Second quadrant. Third quadrant. And fourth quadrant. The intersection line between the HP and VP is called XY line. Now, we will see position of points with respect to these planes. First one is above HP and in front of VP. That is, the point is in the first quadrant. When we view the point in this position, the elevation or front view will fall in the VP. The top view or plan will fall in the HP. Since the VP and HP are mutually perpendicular, and our drawing sheet is a plain sheet of paper, the horizontal plane or HP will be turned 90 degrees in the clockwise direction. This is done to draw both the views in the drawing sheet. The elevation of point is above the intersection line of planes. Plan is below the intersection line of planes. Always the elevation of the point is represented as a smaller case alphabet with a dash. Here the point is a and the elevation is a dash. Plan of the point is represented only with the alphabet. Here it is a. The intersection line between HP and VP is XY line. The second case is, point is above HP and behind VP. That is, the point is in the second quadrant. Elevation of the point falls on VP. Plan of the point falls on HP. Horizontal plane is turned 90 degrees in the clockwise direction. Both the elevation and plan are above the intersection line of planes. Elevation of the point is A dash. Plan of the point is A. The third case is point is below HP and behind VP. That is, the point is in the third quadrant. Elevation falls on VP. Plan falls on HP. HP is turned 90 degrees in the clockwise direction. Now the elevation is below the intersection line of planes, and is named as, A, dash. Plan is above the intersection of planes, and is named as, A. Elevation is below XY line and plan is above XY line. In the fourth case, the point is below HP and in front of VP. That is, in the fourth quadrant. Elevation falls of VP. Plan falls on HP. When HP is turned, the plan will go below the intersection line of planes. Elevation is A dash, plan is A. Both the elevation and plan are below the XY line. In the fifth case, the point is above HP and in VP. Elevation is in the VP. Plan is on the intersection of VP and HP. Elevation should be drawn above the XY line, and plan on the XY line. In the sixth case, point is below HP and in VP. Elevation will fall on VP but below the intersection of planes. Plan is on the intersection. Elevation should be drawn below the XY line and plan on the XY line. In the seventh case, the point is on HP and in front of VP. 
Elevation will fall on the intersection of planes. Plan will fall on the HP. When the horizontal plane is rotated, the plan will go below XY line and elevation on the XY line. In the eighth case, point is on the HP but behind VP. Elevation will fall on the intersection of planes. Plan will fall on the HP. When HP is rotated in the clockwise direction, the plan will go above the XY line, elevation remains on the XY line. In the ninth case point is in both HP and VP. Both elevation and plan will fall on the intersection of planes. Elevation and plan should be drawn on the XY line. Here are some important points to remember while drawing projections of a point. Elevation of a point can be drawn by considering the horizontal plane or HP. If the point is above HP, its elevation should be drawn above the XY line. If the point is below HP, its elevation should be below the XY line. If the point is on HP, its elevation also will be on the XY line. Plan of a point can be drawn by considering vertical plane or VP. If the point is in front of VP, its plan should be drawn below the XY line. If the point is behind VP, its plan will be above the XY line. If the point is on the VP, its plan also will be on the XY line. Let us see an example problem. Draw the projections of the following points on the same ground line, keeping the projectors 25 mm apart. A. In the HP and 20 mm behind the VP. B. 40 mm above the HP and 25 mm in front of the VP. C. In the VP and 40 mm above the HP. D. 25 mm below the HP and 25 mm behind the VP. E. 15 mm above the HP and 50 mm behind the VP. F. 40 mm below the HP and 25 mm in front of the VP. G. In both the HP and the VP. We will see the projection of these points, one by one. First draw an XY line for accommodating all these points. Point A is in the HP and 20 mm behind the VP. Since the point is in HP, its elevation will be on the XY line. Plan will be on the HP, when we rotate the HP through 90 degrees in clockwise direction, plan will be above the XY line with a distance of 20 mm. Point B, is 40 mm above the HP and 25 mm in front of the VP. Distance between projectors is to be maintained 25 mm. Point is in the first quadrant, elevation should be drawn 40 mm above the XY line. Plan will fall on HP, when HP is rotated, plan will be 25 mm below the XY line. Point C, is in the VP and 40 mm above the HP. Since the point is 40 mm above HP, elevation will be 40 mm above the XY line. Point is in VP, so plan is to be drawn on the XY line. Point D, is 25 mm below the HP and 25 mm behind the VP. Point is 25 mm below HP, so elevation is 25 mm below XY line. D is 25 mm behind VP, so the plan will be 25 mm above XY line. Point E is 15 mm above the HP and 50 mm behind the VP. E is 15 mm above HP, so elevation should be 15 mm above XY line. 
E is 50 mm behind VP, plan should be 50 mm above XY line. Point F is 40 mm below the HP and 25 mm in front of the VP. F is 40 mm below HP, so elevation, 40 mm below XY line. 25 mm in front of VP, so plan, 25 mm below XY line. Point G is in both the HP and the VP. Since the point is in H.P, elevation will be on the XY line. Point G is in VP also, therefore plan also will be on the XY line. 